Hi, and welcome to Shorts That Are Not Pants Virtual Film Festival 2020. I'm Jen with Simon and Joachim, the directors from the short film, The Owl. How are you guys? We're good, we're great. Yeah, great, so congratulations. The short film is really fantastic. I've loved it. And I think we should start first of all to ask if um, you've used special effects for The Owl or if you actually had to find someone with a very special skill for that scene. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, it was a very yeah. tricky casting process. Yeah. <laughs> it was very tricky. Um, we were too looking at people with yeah, all over the world. Yeah. All over the world. So we flew in a couple. No, it's actually it's quite simple. Actually, yeah, it's it's yeah. post production. Uh, France, that the team post team. All oh, right. So it's just, oh, cool. Okay, it's just so well made that it's it's incredibly perfect the way he just turns his head and not only the scene and that that special effects done it's also the cast the sound editing so i was wondering how you work with the actors and the team to create such tense, tension and pace we because it's it's so short we, we could do the the whole scene in in one take all the time so we we just did it the whole film over and over and over and over and we, we didn't really break for no or, i think it, it was it was a good a good way of working with it because we had we had a quite a clear clear idea of what we wanted in the end but it's uh we, we wanted to to sort of leave them hanging all the actors so we we, we set them out then we sort of left them so we sort of became different every take uh so we didn't have like a clear ending to the scene so we sort of meandered out and they, they all got a bit frustrated because they didn't yeah. know how it was going to end. So suddenly someone had to take control over it. So it, it sort of became different every take in that sense, if, if you understand what I, what I mean. Yeah, 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 sure. It's just, um, especially at the end, you know, when you have that moment, you know, with the black, the black font and you're just live there thinking about your emotions and what, what is going to happen next. Um, has it always been the intention to have this sort of ending then? Is that the final decision that you had or any other varieties? I, that, it, we, we had a couple of endings planned, uh, but that one was the one that really worked, I guess. Yeah. But we, I, I think we came up with it on set, the, the ending, right? Yeah, we, no, yeah, 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 so, yeah, we had a couple that we tried in the edit, but it, yeah, it, was, it was the one that sort of worked the best, I think. It, it, I don't know. It was. It was. It, I mean, the whole, the whole con, the whole idea, and the whole film has been, been very organic in the way we yeah, yeah. we made it. It's um, it, it, the turnaround was extremely short. It, I think from the first draft of the script, we had a, a finished film in like four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it was a very, very quickly everything. Um, yeah. So yeah. Okay. I mean, like a, a structure that we, we wanted to stick to it was like let's try that let's 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 play with it and let's have fun see where it takes us all right well watching it as well and especially you know when they're all sitting there and staring at the owl and then their initial reaction that was quite brutal really made me think of the way how people really consume the entertainment and how they get ex you know they expect something and then in the end it's not what they wanted so they get really furious against it so I wanted to know if um, this was also your intention to to talk about this and to make sure that you know people are just can be frustrated quite easily as well. Yeah, it, exactly. Because it it started as a as a joke, really. But then when when we when we had it on just j just a script, we we thought it was funny and and a comedy. But then when we saw it, we yeah, it really became dark. Yeah, it turned out a lot better yeah. than we than we expected it to. Um, so, so I, I think it wasn't our intent, our attention at first, but it grew into exactly what you were saying. Like this is this is somewhat uh, how you say a comment on on how yeah on how people consume stuff uh, and and become they, they think they want to see it and and then really they didn't want to see it or they become frustrated and starts uh, acting out on yeah and it goes a bit crazy and yeah no one can really 
uh, control themselves or accept that it was their decision in the end. So yeah, that was that was perfect. I really enjoyed that. Um, I also wondered because it all happens in one uh, set, and was it also the first plan, or was it because of the current circumstances with COVID and everything that you had to shoot everything in one room? I think there was a mix, really. I think it was an idea that lent itself to to one location really well, um, and I, so it, it, yeah, it was it was both budget wise and uh, story wise, it worked really well. Um, in that sense, yeah. All right. Um, well, lastly, I wanted to know what you're working on next, if you have any other projects lined up and uh, what sort of is going to be a short film, if it's going to be in the same tone or? Oh, uh, yeah, we, we got loads of different different ideas bubbling all the time. But uh, I think the net, we have one that we yeah. sort of, that's almost finished in the script stage, at least. Yeah, we just need, need some kind of funding because we did our we, we did like for nothing so this time we want to pay pay as much as we we can get to to the people that helps us because we really did take all our <laughs> <laughs> all the faith <laughs> oh, 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 over the years it's like yeah. oh we can't come again and yeah, so now we back so now we have the other one yeah yeah, yeah but it's, uh, it, the, it's called inferno and it's in in the same tone but even weirder but it, it, that's the thing because we always try to write funny stuff we always try to make like people laugh but in the end everyone just goes away feeling a bit sort of oh, yeah i don't know that was quite funny but it was a lot darker than yeah, yeah, we, so yeah it, it goes a bit dark when we do stuff we're trying to make funny stuff but we're not really yeah, it, yeah we, we don't really see yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it might get even darker then, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, in, a, in a way, I think, yeah. It's not, it's not as graphic in that sense. It's no, not no, 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 twisting no. heads and stuff. It's just really uncomfortable yeah. uh, social. Yeah, I think that's, that's what we were drawn to. Like uncomfortable, the uncomfortable uh, social situations. situations, yeah, where, where people aren't, where people have good intentions, but they, they don't, it doesn't really work out. They, um, they, haven't, they don't have the tools to, to deal with stuff. Uh, emotions and each other and themselves probably uh, that yeah that's probably what we're drawn to yeah um, oh yeah well we're looking forward to anything that's coming next anyways right. um and thank you so much guys congratulations again and uh hopefully you'll have a great time at the festival thank you yeah, yeah. really thank looking forward to it thank you thank you